Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trades and it's come to you live from Asia, guys. This is our Saturday drive time morning update here in Asia and we're gonna be talking about, yeah, it's about to happen, guys. It's about to drop. It's about to drop. It's about to hop. And we're gonna be seeing cryptos are going to go up, guys. Uh, so we're gonna be talking about that. Also, yeah, Dogecoin is supposed to be on the moon on uh, Monday. We're also going to touch on that, see what that's all about uh, out there, guys. So, guys, take a look at take a look at my day here in in uh, in uh, Asia. It's it's kind of a cloudy day out there. Um, hopefully, we get some sun. It's my day off, of course. Uh, how many times have you guys had a day off? And uh, you know, when you're working, it's beautiful. The weather's perfect. Uh, but when you're off, you get this. So, yeah. <laughs> that's me that's that's the weather today so overall let's take a quick look at the markets let's take a look at the big board uh so we're still seeing a sea of red out there uh, bitcoin is down uh it's at forty four thousand, so it's still holding at forty four thousand. it's much better than when we had that scam wick uh you know when we had that whole uh, fud piece that there was not going to be any etfs so we have recovered considerably you know that we did hit a low of 42 we've We've come up about 2K from there. Uh, Ethereum is also down, but slightly, guys. I think that uh, we could see a bit a uh, bit of green happening for definitely for Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. We could see some green. Uh, BNB is uh, down 5%. Probably won't see uh, too much green for that. I have to have a bit of a recovery. Solana is also down 4.42%. So I think we'll probably see Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin uh, probably take off uh, or, or at least switch green. Uh, XRP is down 2% as well. Uh, ADA is down 4.47%. Uh, We're probably not going to see any recovery uh, today. Uh, Avalanche is down a whopping 6.39%. We're not going to see any recovery today. We'll probably have to wait till Monday. Uh, Polymac is down. Probably no recovery today for that. Uh, Doja Washer is also uh, down 2.3% uh, uh, as well. So overall, things are not looking good. SHIB is uh, at 10 at 10 right now. So overall, things things are kind of not looking that good uh, from that perspective. But, 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 um, you know, today, today is a good day. Uh, we've we've had some announcement that the, uh, the there's going to be a Vulcan uh, launch, a Vulcan rocket launch uh, on uh, Monday, uh, US time, and that's going to have the lunar lander, and it is reported to have the physical doge in there too. Not too many people are talking about it. I did cover it in my last video that there's going to be a launch. Uh, no one's really talking about it, but there is going to be a physical doge on there. So that is good. Hopefully that will get some eyeballs on there. Also, other news, there seem to be a lot of whales, a lot of whales moving a lot of their doge to exchanges. Uh, a huge amount of doge is being uh, sent to uh, Robinhood right now. And there was this article that came out that, oh, whales are moving their doge in anticipation of the Doge One mission uh, that's supposed to happen in February. Maybe, maybe they're expecting a big pump uh, with that and they're gonna be selling off some of their Doge. It is what it is. I mean, whales are gonna do that, whalish games. Uh, but let's talk about spot Bitcoin ETS. I almost said, almost said spot coin. Live long and prosper, boys. I almost said spot coin. I don't know, I got spot coin. I, you know, when I was a kid, I was a big Star Trek fan. I'm still a big Star, Star Trek fan. Who out there in YouTube land loves Star Trek? I love Star Trek. If you love Star Trek, comment, guys. Uh, yeah, I, James T. Kirk, uh, Scotty, we need more power in the engines. You know, I, I, I like, I grew up with, uh, I grew up with uh, uh, Star Trek. It's kind of my generation, you know. I'm an old fart right now. So let's talk about uh, the spot, Bitcoin ETFs. So as you guys know, that a lot of the uh, ETF applicants uh, filed for listing uh, on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, those were approved. So the so the listings have been approved, okay, on the New York Stock Exchange. So they got ticker symbols, they got all that stuff. So that that moved forward. We talk, we saw Grayscale, Valkyrie, BlackRock, uh, Bitwise. They all uh, filed for their ticker symbols, got approved. So all we need uh, is SEC Gary Gensler to give the final. Thumbs up. Uh, speaking about thumbs up, don't forget to smash the likes. And remember, now this is financial advice, just in case I, you know, I gotta say that. Uh, so that's what kind of what we're waiting for. We're kind of waiting for the SEC to give approval. Now, typically, typically any kind of big, huge, humongous approvals typically come out on Friday. 
So remember, the 10th is a deadline. They may delay it to Friday. Uh, so I think that, that I think we should, if we don't get announcement on Friday, we will and could get an announcement, uh, sorry, back up, back up. If we don't get the announcement uh, on the 10th, it will come on Friday, okay? So I think next week, I think next week, uh, we will get the announcement. I think there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that we're definitely going to get the announcement for the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now, I think when that happens, you know, we did see the big scam wick that went all the way down to 42,000 for Bitcoin. We saw that uh, Doge tanked as well. I think once we get the approval, we're going to see this God candle and we could see a God candle that could push us all the way easy pow, up to 50K uh, for Bitcoin. I think I think that's going to happen. I think we're going to see a huge freaking God candle and that could push Bitcoin easily up to 50K. And I don't think it's going to be 50K, uh, go there and then suddenly drop down. I think it will hold 50K and keep on going. Okay, so that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, I think... I think we're probably going to see most of crypto in the doldrums uh, probably this weekend. I don't think much is going to be happening. I think it's just going to be pretty much the same kind of poo poo schmata. Uh, you know, we'll go up three or percent, slight little greenish, then we'll go back down again, and we'll just kind of consolidate. I think we're just kind of consolidating this range. So that is what I think is going to happen for most of crypto. It's going to be pretty boring. I think there's a lot of anticipation as to whether the spot Bitcoin ETF will get approved. Now, let's talk about Dogecoin. Now, Dogecoin right now, it is in this whole house of pain formation I told you about. We need Dogecoin to get itself above 0 0.085. There's no doubt about it. If we don't get up there, uh, or if we don't get up there and there's no spot Bitcoin ETF, we could go down to 0 0.07, 0 0.076. Okay, that's our next support level. That's a fact. If the Bitcoin spot ETF does come in and we get this God candle, naturally everything will go up <laughs> and doge will go up but we could even see you know dogecoin going as high as 10 cents possible now don't forget we got this falcon uh, rocket with the do with the lunar lander that's supposed to be supposedly have a physical doge on there i you know i read one article about it talked about it in my previous video go go watch it go watch it uh it's, it's scheduled for monday but i haven't been able to find any concrete data out there other than the launch date, the lunar lander, but there's been really no mention of if there's gonna be a physical doge there. I haven't read it. You know, there is kind of some inferences, you know, some people are inferring it, but there's not been any concrete evidence, but I still believe it's happening. That's what I believe. So from that perspective, let's see if that does pan out. Don't forget we got Doge X1 uh, mission that's supposed to be in February. Uh, we got whales moving a lot of Doge uh, to Binance, to Robinhood. Uh, maybe it's either A, in anticipation uh, of the uh, spot Bitcoin ETF, almost said spot, live long and prosper again. Uh, or it could be the Doge X1 mission price pump. Okay, well, whatever that means, but there are whales that are move their stuff to centralized exchanges. Could that be because they are going to dump their douche? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. If whales start to sell off their douche, that's not going to be good. That could be uh, tremendous. Uh, you know, a lot of people a lot of people saying, oh, douche is, is a scam and yeah, this and that. No, douche. Okay, doge, but look, guys, wake the freak up. Douche is a meme coin, okay? AKA mean coin means it's a community driven coin, it means that the community sentiment is going to drive price. Uh, people say Doge has no utility. Yeah, I mean, it's not a layer one, it's not a layer two. Uh, its biggest utility is that Dogecoin is a lightning fast currency, medium exchange. You can buy things with it. I mean, what utility does a dollar have other than you can buy things with it? Okay, so please, let's not be vitriolic about it. It's a meme coin, okay? It's a meme coin. It's not a layer one, it's not layer two. It's a meme coin. But the community loves it. And, uh, you know, everybody loves Dogecoin. I love Dogecoin. It's fun uh, out there. Remember, when you're investing, diversification is key. Don't invest more than we have to lose, all that stuff. And a lot of people, I, I mean, I read one, one there's one post uh, that I was reading on one of my videos. Some guy was like being really, uh, Debbie Donovan says, oh, you see the Dogecoin millionaire? 
uh, he lost everything. You see, Doja's a, Doja's a big scam, yada, yada, yada. He lost everything. Well, yeah, that's his own fault. Because the Dogecoin millionaire, he didn't know how to take profits. And I always tell you guys, don't be driven by greed. Don't be driven by greed. I said it twice. You've got to pay yourself. And I have a very simple rule. Whatever coin it is, if it's up 100%, I take 50% out and pay myself. If it's up 200%, I take another 50%. That way, all the money that's left is house money. But a lot of what a lot of people forget to do is they forget to take profits and they keep riding this thing higher and higher. And then the bottom falls out like the Dogecoin millionaire. And then he got poo-poo shmata, right? If he'd have taken profits, he would have he would have the million bucks and he would still have a ton of Doge left, but he didn't do that. And a lot of people out there don't do that. Uh, and uh, then they claim, oh, it's a scam, it's a scam. No, it's not a scam. There, crypto has peaks, it has valleys, it goes up, it goes down. Uh, you know, negative news can drive it. Uh, sentiment of the community can drive it. There's a lot of, you know, external mitigating factors which will affect the, the price of uh, crypto. Just remember that. That is why it's key that you take profits. And a lot of, a lot of you don't know how to do that. Uh, because what happens is you get too freaking greedy and you think things are gonna go up forever. Things do not go up forever. They, they go up, they retrace, settle, then go back up. Yeah, sure, Bitcoin overall, the trend is up, but there's gonna be peaks, there's gonna be valleys. So, and if you try to time the tops and time the bottoms, it ain't gonna happen unless you got like, you know, a Machiavellian crystal ball time machine doodicky. I don't have one of those. So, you know, just be fundamental about things. So guys, that's all I got. It's kind of a brief update, casual, casual. I got my little baseball cap on. You know why I'm wearing a baseball cap, right? Because my hair's a mess. Don't tell anyone, my hair's a mess. <laughs> so guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace freaking out.